All right. Good morning. May the Lord bless you real good. This is the servant of Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. Not, 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 you can't serve two masters. You can't serve Jesus and Satan too. <laughs> you can't do it. You cannot serve two masters. I remember a number of years ago, a, 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 a good song by William Bale in uh, 1976, I believe it was. It was a natural song talking about two women. He said, trying to love two, oh, ain't easy to do. <laughs> he was talking about trying to love two women. Praise God. But you, but, but Jesus said you can't serve two masters. You can't do it. Well, I'm serving God and the devil. I'm serving God and Baal. I'm serving God and nomination. I'm serving God and bishop. I'm serving God and false doctrine. I'm serving God and Buddha. And God and Baal. And God and Krishna. And God and your pastor. And God and your bishop. You can't serve two Jesus said, you can't serve two masters. You can't do it. You, 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 can, you can hypocrite and fake like you serving God. That's why Jesus said, be wild for all problems. <laughs> That's why Jesus going to say, in that day, depart me, you that work your dick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Judas was faking. Hallelujah. All right. Let's get right to West you. You know, you know I'm free to preach. I don't have to check with Bishop. I don't have to check with the board to see if it's okay with them. Hallelujah. I'm free to preach. Because I'm a servant of Jesus Christ and nobody else. All right, let me get let me get right to it. Pray God, my breakfast is on the stove, cooking and going on, and I got my coffee here. All right, let go of the way. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. God sent his son Jesus into the world. No, God did not come into the world. He sent his son Jesus. To die by our sin, to take away our sin. To free us from the bondage of sin. Let me, let me. Jesus coming back again. He said, be ready. You know what be ready to be? Do, do what he told you to do. Won't be if he come back and you're not ready. My God in hell, fire and brimstone, you're going to lift up your eye when he throw you in there. All right, let that, that, that. There is no, not, not one saint, I say a saint. There is not one saint of God. There is not one Born again believer, a wild in spirit, there is not Holy Ghost fear. Not one saint of God that's struggling with sin. You're not struggling with sin. If you say you're not struggling with sin, what you struggling for? There's not one child of God. That's struggling with salvation. No, you are not struggling with salvation. Here is the problem. You hear me? You hear me? The problem is you never been saved. You never been saved. Just because you were baptized, that don't mean you saved. 
Just because you Jan church. Went to Sunday school, morning service, and then revival. That don't mean you say. Just because you got a robe on in a clergy collar and paying tithes and offering in the in the pulpit, that don't mean you say. The problem is you. The, You never was saved. You repeated sin of prayer. You never was saved. You had repeated sin of prayer. You had believed he died and rolled again, and you confessed that, and you but you never was saved. You can't save yourself. It takes Jesus to save you. People that saved. And to be saved, you must repent of your sin according to the scripture. According to Jesus, you must repent of your sin. Jesus told you to repent. How can you repent and you continue with your sin? How can you repent of wrong and you continue with to do wrong? Which God will is going to be Sunday's message. When I get through with this, I'm going to change clothes. Hallelujah. Pray, change my top and do Sunday's message. God will it. No, you're not struggling with sin. Now I'm going to get the scripture. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And what messing these folks up, they listen to these preachers and the pastors. Of course, if, if your pastor gave a teach you, well, there ain't none of that perfect. And you're going to act like it too. You're going to act like ain't none of the perfect too. And you're going to use that excuse every time you disobey God. You're going to say ain't none of the perfect. Well, ain't nobody without sin. And I got it. You're going to act like it too. And every time you see to disobey God, how you going to use that excuse? Uh, uh. Praise God. A saint is just a sinner who fell down but got up. Are you listening to that? Listen to all those excuses. They're telling you to see it. Hallelujah. No saint, nobody say struggling with sin. Number one, in order to be saved, if you want to be saved, you need to have the understanding of what being saved means. If you want to be saved, that means you want to follow Jesus Christ and be a disciple of Jesus Christ and be holy and be righteous and be a saint. And you're going to repent of your sin. Even before you come to Jesus, you're going to repent of your sin. You can't come to Jesus if you don't repent. John 3 and 20. That boy say, what must I do? Hallelujah. That I might hear eternal life. Jesus said, do you know the commandment? Oh, you got hear me. You, 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 you got to do the commandment. You want to be saved? You ready to start doing the commandment? If not, you don't want to be saved. Nobody struggling with sin. No saint struggling with sin. Struggling with salvation. Yeah, I got Hallelujah. No, you ain't struggling with salvation. I'm struggling to be saved. No, you ain't. When you fail, who won? Let me read something. I want you in the book of Hold on, hold on a minute, say. Hold on a minute. Hold on one second. I don't know whether I can pause there or not. 
Cause they supposed to be bringing me a new stove. I see a boy running with a two wheel. Let's see if he if that's my stove. Pardon me, say. Okay, I, I, I see. I see him got. I see him got a stove out there on the, out there on the truck. Let me. Let me. Let me go give you this script and see what's going on. In the book of Luke of John, chapter one and twelve. But as many as received him, to him gave he power to become the sons of God. You receive Christ? He gave you power to become the sons of God. You got power. All right. John, I mean, uh, I, got, I got him all. Luke chapter 10. And verse 19. Look what Jesus said. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power on the, of the enemy to walk on them. And nothing shall by me, me any me hurt you. You got power. In John 8, I hope they bring my stove, but they, they, that little bit of stove they got there. Hey, I need a big boy. In John 8, hallelujah. Let's look at 34. Jesus said, Brother, brother, I tell you, whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. You a servant of sin. You do what sin tell you to do. 36. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, something's going on. And I'm on different things, so... I'm sure if I pause this on this phone here and come back in, I may lose the video. So, who's going to come in and say, say, you do what say, say tell you do. You're doing what the devil tell you to do. 36. If the son that force shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. He free you from being a servant of sin. You don't have to obey sin. Another verse says, sin shall have no more dominion over you. You free. Ain't no struggle. No struggle. You ain't you ain't struggling not to see it. You free. Romans chapter six. And, and I'm and I'm sorry, but got got something going on out there. Romans chapter six. And fourteen. With a twelve, let not say devil ran your mother body that you should obey it in lust thereof. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness. Don't you when you sin, you yield it, honey, to sin. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. But yield yourself to God. When you yield to God, you ain't sinning and you ain't struggling. Praise God. For sin shall have no more dominion over you. Sin ain't got no power over you. Huh? Nobody struggling with sin. There's much more we can do, but I need to take care of business. I ain't going to have no business. Now, uh, uh, the 
this preacher is not going to give you an excuse to disobey God. Not on my watch. Don't no scripture excuse your sin. You try to cover up your sin. How, how about you repent? Now, in Romans 10 and 9, it, it, 10, it say, with the hard man believe, in 11, with the hard man believe unto righteousness. You got to believe Christ to make you righteous. John 3, be born to get a water and spit. Christ give you his spirit. Christ, Christ create the new man. Born of water and spirit. Christ create the new man. The new man, the spirit man, the Christ man, the God man, the holy man. Christ create that. In you. They chapter of Romans. They that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. There was no mind on the things of the flesh. But David said, Thy word have I hid it in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And thy word do it meditate day and night. With your mind on Jesus. The reason you came to Jesus because you wanted to be saved. I ain't trying to repeat no sinner prayer. You wanted to live for him. You wanted to be free from sin. Clear from sin. You want to repair your sin. Walk in the spirit. Be a righteous man. No struggle. That's enough. Thank you for that.